All right, guys, I'm just checking out the different, what the size of this log is and see how to cut it. I like to get the 11 and 8, but I can't get it right there. Well, I'm going to cut on, it, really, I'm just cutting on a random. I'm trying to get me a good flat side. I'll flip it over and then get my sizes later. The standards on the side is at 11, at 10 and a half inches. So I'm not, I know I got to be above that to get this first cut. And I'm just above it right now. I'll, be, I'll cut right on 10 and a half inches and that way I'm clear. I'm going to get me a flat cut right here, then I'm going to flip it and see what we got. on that cut right there so I've got a flat side on the bottom a flat side on the left hand side actually what I'm gonna do now is cut that cut on sixes because I'm gonna have to come back and fix that on the bottom because it's got a, a cull edge is what we call it so I'm gonna show you what I'm doing on the saw all right let's see where we're at right now I know I got a flat bottom I ain't gonna get nothing there I'm gonna come down until I hit a six See this six right here? A six right there, that line. I'm gonna cut on that six, which is right there. Let's see what I got. I should be able to get a board below that. And then that way I'll have me a flat side. And then I'll flip it again and cut my width of my two by six.
right, now I got me a pretty good side to start with. I don't have to have my standards on the side, my backstop. So actually what I'm gonna do right now is because of the size of the log, I can't get 11 and an eighth. That's what I'm trying to get, to get two two by sixes. So I'm gonna cut on sixes again and flip it one more time. And I'm gonna take some uh, two by sixes off of this to bring it down a little bit. sixes what I showed you on the scale that is an inch and a half thick they've got it laid out already on your uh, lumber scale over there now see how this one's got some bark on each side it's not perfect this is actually a, a two by eight but uh I need some two by sixes so I'm gonna cut it down I'm gonna throw it on this side and I will cut it again when I cut my uh for the trash later I'll, I'll, I'll finish it up perfect side right here so I'm gonna flip the log and cut it down to five and a half inches Just gonna put one clamp on it because it ain't going nowhere it's got a good good base it's flat it's up against the side it's holding good so now let's see what I'm at I am on eight inches I'm gonna take an inch and a half off every time well actually what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to five and a half inches come up an inch and a half up an inch and a half until I can cut down to five and a half inches and I'm gonna put my trash my last cut is gonna be up on this top right here that's gonna be your throwaway piece because if you remember I was cutting on inch and a half a while ago that's different than five and a half show y'all what I'm talking about five and a half inches which is right there this is your regular scale that you're cutting on these are to, to cut on inch and a half what they do is they take a eighth inch off add an eighth inch on every one of these till your boards are not skinnier than inch and a half I go to five and a half go up an inch and a half which is seven okay remember I was on eight I need to put that eighth in there for that blade which is seven and one eight. And that's the cut I'm gonna make. This is gonna be a cull piece off the top. Guys, y'all remember last week, 15 degrees? It was 77 degrees yesterday. It's probably close to 70 degrees right now and it just broke daylight in the morning. This Louisiana weather is crazy. Well guys, let's, I'm gonna cut this right here. Then I'm going to break it down to six and I'll show you as I go.
over there always falls off. It just slides over that bolt. Most of the time you don't use this. But when you get down to this last cut, it's got a little groove in it. It holds your boards really tight, holds them good. See, it just slides on there. That way you can cut down to one inch. I cut the inch and a half without touching this. That's what I'm fixing to put back on there. tractor throw this chassis away right here these I got to recut but I'm gonna come pick up every one of these with my forks on my tractor that's why I put my backstops up pick up a little bit and I can slide up under it and go stack it now we don't have to handle them try to work smarter instead of harder make whatever do whatever you got to do to make it easier on yourself but guys I've got several up more to cut if you like this kind of content give me a thumbs up tell me what you want to see if you want me to slow down and break it down step by step, let me know. I'll do it for you. God bless. I'll catch you on next one. Bye-bye.